Good morning and welcome to Online Storytime with the Pflugerville Public Library. My name is Amanda Cawthon and I'm one of the librarians here. Today we are going to read a super fun book about octopuses and we're going to sing some songs and do some activities about ocean animals. But first let's sing our welcome song. We're going to sing The More We Get Together and I'll sing it two times so if you don't know the words you can listen the first time and then sing with me the second time. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your friends are my Today we're going to be exploring some ocean animals. So I've got my little ocean scene here and I'm going to put some animals on here and see if you can guess what they are. You can tell me what they are. Here's this little guy, doop, 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 doop. crawls on sideways. <gasps> Who's this guy with the claws? Did you say crab? Great job. Now, <gasps> Let's see who this guy is riding in. <gasps> what kind of creature is this? It's a seahorse. Next, <gasps> we've got this guy with five arms. One, two, three, four, five. That's a starfish. Speaking of fish, <gasps> Here's a fish. Now I've got another creature coming in here and he has eight great arms. <gasps> it's an octopus. And last, you don't want to get caught by one of these. It's a jellyfish. You don't want to touch him because he might give you a little sting. How many of these animals did you did you get right? Let's count them. We've got one. Oh, we should start over here actually. One, two, three, four, five, six animals. Great job. All right, next we're gonna do a finger play rhyme. So I need you to hold up five fingers. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. And you know, you could use five of anything really. You could use five toes, you could find five toys to use for this, whatever you want, as long as you count to five. Here we go. Five little jellyfish swimming by the shore. One swam away and that left four. Four little jellyfish swimming in the sea. One swam away and that left three. Three little jellyfish swimming in the blue. One swam away and that left two. Two little jellyfish swimming under the sun. One swam away and that left one. One little jellyfish, he wasn't having so much fun. So he swam away and that left none. Okay, I think it's time to read our octopus book next. Next, we're gonna read Octopuses 1 to 10. This is by Ellen Jackson, and it's illustrated by Robin Page. Let's get started. Now, this book is really cool because this is fun to read with little kids and big kids. Oh, did you guys see all these? Those are little baby octopuses. The reason this book is so fun to read with little bitty kids and big kids is that with little kids, like today at story time, we're gonna read this part over here, but big kids might wanna read all this information over here so they can learn more about octopuses. And there's a few pages on here where I'll read you a little bit of that information, but mostly we're just gonna read the rhyming words. Here we go. Octopuses 
like to hide. One is safe and snug inside. Octopuses like to hide in crevices. Octopuses on patrol use two legs to take a stroll. <gasps> you see they have eight arms, but they're using two of these arms like legs to walk along the ocean floor. Now, here's an octo oddity. Count each heart. There's one, two, three. An octopus has three hearts. How cool is that? Octopuses in disguise have four ways to fool your eyes. Let's see all the ways they have. They can squirt black clouds of ink. They can change their skin color and texture. They can detach one of their arms. They can make one of their eight arms fall off and then they can swim away. And they can hide in their den. Short and happy, that's their lot. Five years are the most they've got. Octopuses don't live very long, only up to five years and some only live for six months. And here you can see this octopus mama taking care of all these eggs. Six strong arms can help them grab shrimp and lobster, fish and crab. They can wander where they please, swimming through the seven seas. Every ocean in the world has octopuses in it. Celebrate and give a cheer. On October 8 each year, why do you think we should celebrate an octopus on October 8th? Because October is the 8th month of the year and that's the eighth day of the month and an octopus has eight arms. Octopuses, they're so fine. You have one brain, they have nine. They have one brain for every arm and one big brain in the middle. Pretty cool. Now here are 10 that you might meet with all with arms and none with feet. So now you get to see some different kinds of octopuses. Right here, this is a giant Pacific octopus. This is a seven arm octopus. A blanket octopus. Common octopus. Mimic octopus. Dumbo octopus. And you can see this guy is very tiny because right here it has a picture that shows you how big the octopus is next to your hand. So he's pretty small, just the size of your hand. This is a blue ringed octopus. I bet you can guess why they call him that. A blue ringed octopus. And this one is a larger Pacific striped octopus. This is a veined octopus and an octopus wolfie. Octopuses near and far, each an eight-armed superstar. And something really cool about this book, I really think you guys should check out this book to take home because at the end they have all these fun craft ideas and look, you can make an octopus craft out of a banana peel or a toilet paper roll and you can make octopus treats. This is a really cool book, you guys, so I definitely think you should check this out. Octopuses 1 to 8 by Ellen Jackson and Robin Page. All right, next you guys, we've read all about the octopuses. Now we're gonna pretend to be an octopus. We're gonna sing, oh, I wish I was an orange octopus. Now for this song, I need you to close your eyes and imagine that you are an octopus. So you're floating in the ocean and you have eight waving arms. 
We're gonna get ready to sing, ready? Oh, I wish I was an orange octopus. Oh, I wish I was an orange octopus. Oh, I'd wave all my arms. And I've forgotten the rest of the words. Oh, I wish I was an orange octopus. Okay, you guys, I have to look at my song because I can't remember how it goes. Oh, I forgot he splashes in all the waves. That's it, let's try it again, here we go. Oh, I wish I was an orange octopus. Oh, I wish I was an orange octopus. Oh, I'd wave all my arms and I'd play in the waves. Oh, I wish I was an orange octopus. Good job! That's great. Now, stay standing up because next we're gonna sing If You're Happy and You Know It. Do you guys remember this song when we used to sing it at story time, at the end of story time? All right, here we go. We're gonna clap and then we're gonna stop and then we're gonna say hooray! Here we go. If you're, oh, and we're gonna smile too. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! Great job. All right, you guys. I brought some fun books to show you from the library collection that you can check out. And something a little bit different from all these books than what we normally show you for story time is I brought all nonfiction books. Nonfiction means it's books that has real information about things that are true. It's not just make-believe stories. So this one is Star of the Sea, A Day in the Life of a Starfish. I also have Shark Lady, the true story of how Eugenie Clark became the ocean's most fearless scientist. The Great Shark Rescue, saving the whale sharks. Hmm, I'm gonna see if that one is my favorite, hold on. All right, we have The Sockeye Mother, and this one's about salmon. It's really cool. And my very, very favorite one, The Blobfish, a book all about me. There's Blobfish. Blobfish are such a cool creature that I didn't even know existed until I was a grown-up. So I'm so excited that this book exists so that you can learn about the Blobfish. And I'm gonna show you what you're gonna make for your craft for this week. You're gonna have this paper plate and you're gonna have this little baggie here that has ribbons and little colorful polka dots and you'll put them together and you're gonna make a polka dotted jellyfish. And there's a little picture in the baggie to show you what it will look like when you're done. Well, thank you so much for joining me at Storytime today. I had so much fun reading that book with you and singing all those songs. Let's sing our goodbye song. Here we go. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you soon. On another day. See you next time.